Hi, my name is Eric Pratt from U.S. Broadcast Distribution, and today we're going to take an in-depth look at the Skarhoi PTZ Fly. This is the unit here. It's a, a fairly small-sized unit, just large enough for a couple of buttons on it and a joystick. And I want to start out by pointing out that it's only connected by one cable. This Ethernet both carries power and control for all of the other devices this unit is connected to. It has six buttons across the bottom here. These are labeled one through five and shift. It has several different um, screens, four different encoder dials, and four different screens to correspond to those. It also has a, a nice joystick here. This is uh, one of the upgraded joysticks. This unit, in fact, has several features that are, are not standard. This is sort of the, the nice demo unit. It's got the SDI shield, and it's got the modularity on it. These are not standard with this unit, but these are uh, nice access added extras. Um, and if I wanted to control my PTZ camera, I would just adjust the PTZ joystick here. Or I can also use it to control presets. So I've programmed several presets here. And I'm going to just switch to a different camera and show you how um, presets are programmed. So this is uh, the top-down view here, and we can see a better view of the different buttons and screens and knobs and dials that this has. And I'm in um, the preset state, and I'll explain more about states in a moment. So I have uh, several different banks of um, presets. So in this setting here, I have five. I've already programmed these three. But if I wanted to create my own new preset, I'm going to make an adjustment to my PTZ camera, and then I'm going to hold down and watch. It'll change colors. So if you just press it, it goes to that, that preset. And then now this will go to that new preset that I created. So now I have four different presets that I've created. If you just press it, it goes to that preset. But if you hold down on it, it creates that new preset. So that is um, a quick overview of how the unit itself works. So these are just a couple of the, the interesting things that the unit can do. But let's take a closer look. The really neat thing about the PTZ Pro is, or the PTZ Fly, is, and, and any of the Scarhoy product, is that you can shift between different configurations of the unit. And that is actually what this shift button is for. And what I've done is I've configured this unit to have uh, three different modes. So this first mode is the camera selector mode. So in this mode, we have five different cameras that we can select from. And then we have um, the shading for those different, um, those different cameras. So we would select the camera here, and then we would shade it. So once we've selected our camera, now we can go into um, the next mode. And this is the preset mode. And in the preset mode, I have a bank of five uh, different presets. And I'll get more into that again in a second. And so think of that right now. We've got the camera mode. We've got the preset mode. And then I've also created a vMix mode. Now, this is connecting to several different devices here. And in vMix mode, it's allowing me to switch between my different cameras. So right now, if I wanted to go back to me, um, switch it to active. If I wanted to go to me, I would just press this button here. If I want to go back to my camera, um, or if I want to go to my close-up, I'm just pressing these buttons. And then we also have, uh, we have several different modes of that, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So I want to show you a little bit about how the different states work. And I want to walk you through it because it's important to understanding that this is not just a PTZ controller. This can be any number of kinds of controllers, and we can just use the state function to shift through different configurations um, all within one device for not just different uses in different scenarios, but different uses within the same production. So I'm going to take you on a quick tour of how to configure the controller. And I'm not going to go into um, a lot of depth on how to control it, but I do want to point out some of the new features, and it's helpful to do that using um, the configuration interface. 
So this is the unit itself, and we can go through and see how each button is configured. But I wanted to explain this whole concept of state. So you'd notice that I'd gone through a camera selection state, I went through a preset state, and I went through a vMix state. And uh, the Scarhoy configuration interface allows you to select the number of states that you want. Let me say if I selected four, I could add an ATEM switcher. If I selected five, I could add a Kumo router. If I selected six, you get the idea. You can just keep going on and on. So I've gone in and I've labeled these three. So this is my camera selector, this is my preset, this is my vMix. Now, I'm going to click this button here. So this is the number one button. And in the state one configuration, this is doing camera select, it's selecting camera one uh, for the PTZ optics. But if I add the other states visible here, I can see that this input button number one can be several different things. So in the preset state, it's um, able to select preset one. So input one is now, instead of selecting camera one, it's selecting preset one. And its mode is recall set, which allows me to both recall and set. So I could use, I could make this just recall so it's not possible to set, or I could make it just set, or I could make it reset, apparently. Um, I've also made it so that I can use a shift state to go through to um, further banks of presets, but I'll get to that explanation uh, here in a moment. In the next state, I've set it up so that I can go into vMix, and I have several different versions of this as well, so that I can go and select my preview source and then perhaps transition it to programs. So that's just this one button has been set up for these three states, three different configurations. And the way that we've done that is we've selected this button, number six. And this might look a little bit complicated, but the long story short is, is that this is, this is actually a four-way button. This is not just a single button. It can be a single button, but one of the neat new things about the new Scarhoy controllers is that they're, they're actually four-way buttons. If I press the top of this button, different than if I press the bottom, different if I press the right, different if I press the left. I can make it so that I could just press this one button and cycle through states, but I've made this button so that I can press up to go up in my states and down to go down in my states, left to go through my different um, shift modes. So I'll explain shift modes in just a second, but this particular level of programming, um, all it basically does is says, um, if I press down, uh, set, you know, uh, move my state down. If I press left or right, send my shift level left or uh, up or down. And if I press up, um, send my state upwards. So to go back to <coughs> my controller, <coughs> if you look, you'll see we're in vMix. Pressing up sends it to camera mode. Pressing up one more sends it to preset. Pressing up one more sends it to vMix. Pressing down sends it to preset. Pressing down again sends it to camera. So this button is labeled shift, not state. But if you look closely at the uh, screen there, it says state. And it tells you what state the camera is in. So if I go to my presets, I have actually not just five presets here. I have 15 presets. And the way that I can access the other 10 is by clicking right. So when I click right, you'll see that the button colors change, the button menus change. It's all very visual to let you know what is going on here. So this lets you know that there's different banks, different presets, and I had labeled some of these. I went through and I gave these uh, different names, but I, would, I don't have to name them wide, medium, two shot, close up one, close up two. I could name them Nancy, Bob, Andrew, so on and so forth, or, you know, Nancy and Bob, uh, depending on how they're framed up. So I could, well, I don't know if you could fit Nancy and Bob on that, but you could definitely fit one person's name in there. Um, so these, these labels are very helpful, and you can program them. And again, back to the neat thing about the four-way buttons, is I can use this one button is actually four buttons. And you couldn't easily fit another four buttons on here, so it's nice that each of these buttons can be set up to be four different buttons. If I wanted to get really crazy, I could make each of these a four-way button so that I could do this is 
preset one, this is preset two, this is preset three, this is preset four. It all gets down to what's going to make the most sense for you. What is actually going to help you in your live production? And exploring the different ways that we can make these Scarhoy controllers perform, you can see that you might, if you started out by thinking that this is just a PTZ controller, it's neat. It's a very pretty PTZ controller. It's very finely engineered, has lots of pretty lights on it. But to really get under the hood here, you have to understand this is a switcher controller, a router controller, a, a, a camera shader. This, this can do so many different things. So if I go up to um, my uh, camera selector and I step through my states, you'll see that nothing happens because in the camera selector mode, I don't have anything other than um, this mode happening. But I do indicate that there's a change based on, if you notice, this light is changing so that the user knows if they've changed that mode. And I, I'm going to step into the vMix state. I've set up three different modes in vMix so that I can do uh, several different things. If you look closely, you'll see this says preview. And if I step through to the next mode, you'll say, see this says program preview. And the colors of the lights change to indicate that something different is happening. And if I go here, this says active. So if I press this button, it's going to send me to this shot here. If I go to this one, it's going to go to that shot. And I'm going to go back to my USB. And if I set it into this mode, this is program preview. And this is a neat mode because instead of being either program or preview, it's both. Remember when we pressed on the, um, the preset, if you just press it, it sets, it, it, set, it, it recalls that preset. But if you hold it down, it programs it. This program preview mode is kind of neat because it allows me to hold down on a button to preview it or um, hold down on it to bring it to program. So you'll notice that if I hold down on the button, it, if I tap the button, it turns green. If I hold down on it, it goes red. And green is to indicate preview, red is to indicate program. So that's the functions that I've set up for this to control vMix. And these five buttons are pretty adequate under the circumstances. So that is um, some of the neat new features inside of the PTZ Fly. Uh, this is the middle sized of their PTZ control surface. They've got a very small one called the PTZ Wiz. Uh, and then they've got the, the Big Daddy called the PTZ Pro, which we've done a number of videos on. If you want to look at um, the other video, uh, the other videos in our live production uh, YouTube page, you can see that um, we've got several on the PTZ Pro. This is a uh, new product, and we're explaining some of the neat new features on how to control things like those four-way buttons, um, how to control and work with uh, states and shift modes, and uh, in general, just how to um, work with the PTZ controller so that you can see that it's a great PTZ controller if you want to just set program and preview quickly and easily. So if you have any questions about the Scarhoy PTZ um, line of products or any of their products, please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions at all. It's usbroadcast.co. I'm Eric at usbroadcast.co, or you can give us a call or reach out to one of our resellers listed on our reseller page. They're more than happy to answer questions on your products. And if you like these videos, please, by all means, subscribe, uh, like our Facebook page, subscribe to our, our YouTube page, um, follow us on any kind of social media you wish. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.